Okay, so let's solve this simple projectile uh, problem. The first one said that an object falls freely from a height of 25 meters on top of a roof of a building, 5 meter high. Okay, from here, 25 meters, okay, to the roof. The roof is 5 meters. Okay, so the distance this thing covered is from 25 minus 5, okay, which will give you what? 20 meters. So this is the height it covered. Okay, they're not asking calculate the velocity which it's used to strike this place. This is where this thing is thrown. Yeah. So let us do that. It's very, very simple. So what do we do? For maximum height, we use the second equation. Okay, which says that what? That the S is equal to UT plus 1 over 2. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, v squared. The second one. V squared is equal to U. U squared plus 2 AS. So what do we do? Velocity. Final velocity there is 0. Okay, the final velocity is zero, so I'm going to have that. Um, what am I going to? I'm, ha I'm having that zero squared is equal to uh, what's the initial velocity there? Is there any velocity there? No velocity. Okay, they just gave us the height. They ask, okay, they asked not the velocity, so the velocity there is u squared uh, plus um, two times uh, g, which is ten times the height. The height is a 20. So what do we have now? That uh, u squared is equal to what? Minus uh, 400, right? Uh -huh. So we we'll don't use the minus, which is just 400. And u will not be square root of 400, which is what? Which is 20 meter per second, okay? So that is that. But if you want to use your formula, the formula for maximum height is h is equal to what? Uh, u squared sine square theta all over what 2g i think this one will be better for you so what do i have now uh 20 huh? 20 the height is 20 20 is equal to u squared sine 90 all squared i thought that it's always 90 degrees okay all over what 2 times 10 so what do i have now sine 90 is 1 1 1 squared is 1 so i'm having that u squared is equal to cross multiply this time this is 400 so u is equal to square root of 400 which is what 20 meter per second there's another way you can solve this alternatively there's another way you can solve it let's solve using energy we can solve using energy we can tell them that what that potential energy is equal to what kinetic energy so potential energy is what mgh is equal to kinetic energy which is 1 over 2 mv squared don't forget so what do we have? The, the mass, we cancel out the mass. So I'm having that what? GH is equal to 1 over 2 V squared. So I'm looking for V squared. V squared will now be cross multiply 2 GH. So my V squared is equal to 2 times 10 times 20. Okay? Because the height is 20, G is 10. So my V squared is equal to 400. So my V is equal to square root of 400, which is what? 20 meter per second. So you see? Any method you like. I've used three methods and I got the same answer. That is for number one. So let us move to number two quickly. Because of time, it's getting dark. And number two. Number two said a ball is dropped from a height. So the same question. Calculate the velocity. You see the same thing. So solve this number two. Because they are the same thing. So number three said a ball is dropped vertically upward. Okay, it's thrown vertically upward. Okay. With a velocity of this. Then calculate the time spent by the ball in the air. That is the time to reach the maximum height, not the time of flight. Because if you throw it up, it will still come down. But they're asking you only the time spent in the air. Okay, the time spent in the air is the total time. Yes, because it will go up, then come down. That is the time of flight. Okay? So the time spent in the air is the time of flight. So how do you calculate time of flight? What's the formula? The time of flight is simply... Um, 2t, which is what? 2 times t is what? u, uh, v is equal to u plus a t. So I'm having that, uh, uh, okay? So I'm having what? u sine theta over g. Don't forget, okay? Which is what? 2 times my u, initial velocity there for number 3, initial velocity is 50. So I have 50 times sine what? 90. I told you if it is thrown vertically upward. That the angle is 90, so I'm having over what? 10. So my t is what? 0 cancels 0. So 90 is 1. So I'm having 10, 10 seconds. 
10 seconds. As simple as that. So the next thing we are going to look at, okay? So, so is there another thing to look at number, number four? Okay, let's look at number four. This is for number three, okay? Number four is very simple. They say that an object is projected from the ground, from the ground level with the speed of this. They're giving us U. Our U is 40 meter per second, okay? At an angle of 30 meter with the horizontal. Please be very careful. Sometimes they want to confuse and tell you with the vertical. You can draw it so that you know where you are resolving your, your velocity to. So this is with the horizontal. So our, our formulas, we, we stand. But if it is with the vertical, please do 90 minus that angle to get with the horizontal. Please, so that they will not confuse you. Okay? Then I said, we should calculate the time of flight. The time of flight, normally we know the formula as 2 small t, which is what? 2 times u sine theta all over g, which is what? 2 times, uh, our u is uh, 40. 40 sine 30 divided by 10. So 0 cancel 0. I'm having 0 0.5 times 2 is 1. So I'm left with 4, 4 seconds. So 4 seconds is the, is the time. So the next thing they ask us to find is the velocity which it used to strike the ground. The velocity it used to strike the ground, okay? So to calculate that, uh, we can use energy. Use energy. Energy will help us very well. Energy say that potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. So potential energy is equal to what? Kinetic energy. MGH is equal to 1 over 2 uh, MV squared. So what do we have now? We are having a... Um, M will take care of M. So I'm having that what? My V squared is equal to what? 2GH. So V squared is equal to 2 times 10 times the height. Did we get the height? Okay, the height is 20. Did we get the height? We did not get the height. So let's calculate the maximum height. The maximum height, don't forget the formula. The maximum height is where U squared sine squared theta all over what? 2G. So what do we have? Uh, U is what? My U there is 40. So I'm having 40 squared times sine 30 all squared. Then divided by 2 times 10. So what am I having? 16, 0, 0. 16, 0, 0 times uh, 0 0.5 squared. 0 0.5 all squared divided by 20. So if you do everything, I'm having that my height is what? 20 meters. So I'm having times 20 here. So my V square will not be 400. So my V will not be square root of 400, which is what? 20 meters per second. Okay? So that is that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, okay, let's solve one more question. Let me check my time. Oh, just eight minutes. So let's solve one more question. Okay, they said a stone. A stone of mass. 0 0.7 kilogram. Is projected. Vertically upward. vertically upwards, okay, with a speed of 5 meters per second, calculate the maximum height. Okay? Now, to calculate the maximum height, we don't even need the, the mass of the body. We neglect it. It's not our business. So we know that this is this. So to calculate the maximum height, what's the formula for maximum height? Maximum height is equal to u squared sine squared theta all over 2g. Okay? So which is what? 5 squared times sine. Uh, is thrown vertically upward. So 90. 
sine 90 all squared all over 2 times 10. So what do we have now? We are now having that what? 25, 25 times 1 all over what? 20. So I'm having what? 1.25 meters. Okay? As simple as that. So I can clean here. Okay, they said a body is projected horizontally. This one is not vertically. So if it's horizontal, don't forget that the only formula we use is the third equation of motion. So horizontally from, from the top of a tower with a velocity velocity of 20 meter per second then I say it land on on the ground on the ground level at a horizontal distance of 60 meter. This horizontal distance they are talking about is the range, okay? From from the foot from the foot of the tower. Calculate the height. Okay? Now to calculate the height, uh, we know that um, what's the formula for range? In fact, we are still using the last equation of motion. We say that what? That S is equal to UT plus what? 1 over 2, let me just say GT square, okay? Or 80 square. So this is our range. Our range is equal to what? Our G is always zero when it is being calculated horizontally. So this is out. So I'm left with UT, okay? And then our range is equal to, we first of all need to calculate our time. Okay, to calculate our time, let's get our time first. Let's get our time solution. We need our time first. So, because it's horizontal projection, this is the only formula we can use. S is equal to UT plus 1 over 2 um, GT squared. Okay? And we are looking for the height. We are looking for the height. Okay? We are looking for this height. This is the height we are looking for. Is equal to our u. Since it's on top of something, our u there is zero. So this is zero times uh, t plus one over two, dropping down with velocity. So I'm having g t squared, right? Uh huh. So what do we have? We have that the h h is equal to one over two g t squared. So our t is simply 2h over g, okay, t squared. So from here, this is the formula for our t squared. So our t is just the square root of 2h over g. Aha, we have gotten the formula for our t. So let us now put it in the formula for range. The formula for range says that what? S is equal to ut plus 1 over 2 g t squared. And at range... Our G is 0. So, R is equal to just UT. Which means R is equal to U. What is our T? Our T is the square root of 2H over G. So, we cannot get our H that we are looking for. So, the range is 60 is equal to U is 20, okay, times the square root of uh, 2 times H all over 10. So, what do we have? And uh, this one will come down to have 60 divided by 20 is equal to the square root of 2h over 10. So this divided by this, I'm having 3 is equal to the square root of 2h over 10. So when square root go to the other side, it will become square. So when square root go to the other side, it will become square. So what do we have now? We're having that 3 squared is equal to 2h over 10. So I'm having that uh, 3 squared is 9. 9 is equal to 2h over 10. Cross multiply to have that 2h is equal to 90. So h is equal to what? 
90 divided by 2, which is what? 45 meters. So this is the what? The uh, height of the, or the maximum height. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. It's already dark. Please don't forget to subscribe. We love you.